Hey guys, there's been a little over a week since I've done a video. Like, my energy has been so low. Like, I've been sleeping like 16 or 18 hours a day for like over a week, and I'm finally starting to be a little more energetic and doing things. So, if anybody's been feeling that, you're not alone. Um, I want to make a video on insecurities and authenticity since right now I'm really struggling with that myself so maybe someone can relate cuz uh you know before I make a video I will sit here and stare at my camera for like half an hour like I can't do this <laughs> I am not the kind of person that likes to hear themselves talk I don't like people paying attention to me. I'd rather be in my shell and not be noticed. And, you know, I have known for years that I needed to make videos and and just help the collective in whatever way I can with my own experiences and my own knowledge and, you know, spirituality and just... I've put it off because I was... I still am incredibly insecure. I feel like my mind tells me nobody wants to hear what I have to say. Like, I will make no sense. You know, everybody's just going to judge me and it's just not going to go well. I'm just going to make an ass of myself and I'm just not going to matter. I'm not going to make a, make a difference. So. Where does that insecurity come from? If you're insecure about something, it's because it was programmed into you. See, growing up, all I was told as a child was, you know, I'm in insignificant, I'm incompetent, I'm an idiot, and every other horrible thing you can say to a sibling you know, so I grew up with that programmed in me that I don't matter. Anything I say is stupid. And it has taken me a very long time to heal that. So, you know, like I've been saying, you really need to go deep inside yourself. You need to remember those situations and you need to feel those emotions because for so long I repressed all of that like my intention was not to look inside myself my intention was to ignore everything and you can't do that on a healing journey you're never gonna heal if you ignore all of that like I think I've said before that I used to do a lot of drugs to avoid all of that. And they usually say, you know, in the program and whatnot, your development stops, your emotional development stops at the age you start doing drugs or whatever. So that would be 11 years old. So for a very long time, emotionally, I was an 11 year old. You know, I wouldn't let myself shine and I would react to things like an Im immature little child like throwing fits and you know you have to allow yourself to continue to develop like you can't stop your development at the age trauma happened you have to set the intention to look inside yourself and feel those things. Insecurities come from trauma. Like, I've never been a person to think of myself as attractive. You know, I've always been kind of dumbfounded when I would get attention from guys later in life because when I was younger, I remember this specific situation. I was a freshman in high school, and I had a crush on a junior. 
he said to my face, you ain't even cute. So that was very wounding. And for years, that is all I thought of myself. So I need to feel that. I really need to get over that one situation, that one wounding situation that has affected me my whole life. One stupid boy. Fuck him. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's how you have to look at it. If somebody doesn't like you, if somebody says something negative about you, fuck them. That's their opinion. What matters is your opinion about yourself. And now that I'm older, I have a better opinion of myself that it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about you. It doesn't matter what anybody else says about you. That's on them. It matters what you feel about yourself. And if you don't think, you know, that you're you know, beautiful and a good person inside, then you're going to keep attracting negative experiences and, you know, being put down and being made to feel like you don't matter and, you know, you're unattractive or whatever. So you have to start looking in yourself. You have to start accepting yourself. It has taken me a very long time to accept myself because of all the negative experiences I've had in my life. It just built over and over and over that, you know, I'm a horrible person and I'm ugly and, you know, whatever I say doesn't matter, my feelings don't matter, I just don't matter. Because of those experiences, you know, but it those experiences don't matter. What matters is how you feel about yourself. So, a friend told me that I shouldn't, you know, use my own examples in my videos. I love you, man, but um, he told me, you know, I should use, like, third person and, you know, make examples of, like, my friend, but that's not authentic. Like, I would much rather somebody speak from the heart than to shade something in another way and not use honesty. You know, he had my best interest at heart because, yeah, people can use whatever I say against me and, you know, it could wound me. It could hurt me if somebody says something negative about what I'm saying here. But how can I help anybody else if I can't handle that criticism? I need to be able to handle it so that I can show other people that they can handle it. So if anybody has anything negative to say, you know, that's fine. You have your own opinion. But you're not going to bring me down. So that's how you need to, you know, view it. That's how you need to feel. Everybody has their own opinion. And they're allowed to have that opinion. But you can't let that define you. What truly matters is the opinion you have of yourself. And if you have a negative opinion of yourself, then you're going to keep attracting that from other people and it's just going to keep you down it's just going to keep beating you down so you need to change the way you see yourself what really helps is finding a community or you know at least just you know one friend or just somebody that has your back and you know i'm lucky that i found a community on instagram where, you know, we just have this ongoing conversation and we're very supportive of each other. So that has helped me to continue doing these videos. Because without support and, you know, some positive influences, if it was just me, it would be very hard for me to keep doing this. But encouragement does help. So what you need to do is find your tribe. You need to find those people 
that are positive. And even if, you know, you do have people that are negative around you that you can't get away from, you always have that support group. You always have at least one person. You just need to, at least one person that has your back. And that, you know, no matter what happens, you can just feel the love. Because love is the most powerful force in the universe. And it flows through each of us. And when you have that connection with you know, someone or a group of people, it's like you're, you're ping-ponging off of each other, you're feeding each other, and it, 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 like, builds this barrier around you that nothing can penetrate, so you just, you need to find that, that group or that person that you can lean on, because, if you're alone, it's going to be very hard. I mean, you can do it on your own, but it's a lot easier when you have, you know, that group of people to lean on and to positively reinforce. And it helps spirit flow. It helps your light flow. Because... We all need to shine. Like, insecurities cloud us in darkness. And without being able to shine your light, it's really hard to heal. So when you have that, that aura, that energy around you that is supportive and loving, it's like breaking free like being in a shell and just exploding in light like you're finally free to be yourself and authentic and when you have that energy around you you can finally start being authentic everywhere like in every aspect of your life and authenticity is very important like, with my friend that said, you know, I should use other people as examples instead of my own, that's not being authentic. And I think I can connect with people better if I am more myself and authentic and using my own examples. Like, it's just, it feels wrong. Vulnerability is strength. Like, I'm deathly afraid of being vulnerable. Like, making these videos, I just feel... Like, I'm exposing my belly to everybody, and I can be torn apart, but you know what? I push myself to do it because vulnerability is strength. So, I don't know if this made any sense. Like, I just sat here in front of my phone for half an hour freaking out about making this video. But, <laughs> um, hopefully this makes sense, and... I don't know. I have a few topics swirling around in my head, so hopefully I'll be able to make more videos soon. Alright, I love you guys. The universe loves you. And I wish you all the best. You are all beautiful. You all deserve love. I love you. Have a good night.